Okay guys, um, this time, this is my first, um, commentary for Black Ops, Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies, um, I happened, I started to record, and never thought I would get this far on solo, this is a solo one, by the way, um, I'm going, today I'm gonna tell you all about some tips, the way I play it, how to rack up points, um, so yeah. Alright, so the way I play through this is in the be in the very straight, like, you know, the very beginning, with your pistol. To maximize points, you want to shoot like four, maybe five times. Um, they're pretty fragile, the zombies, so. Um, then knife them, because the knifing gives you 130 or 140 points for the last when you kill them, it only gives you like 50 or 60 when you shoot them. So, you want you want to knife them as much as possible in the early rounds, so you want to maximize the points, and so later on it comes in very handy. And obviously build up the barriers for extra points. Huh? <sighs> Sorry. Um, I actually played with headphones that time. I got Turtle Beach for Christmas, uh, I wasn't expecting that. So yeah, you wanna, and obviously like shoot him like six, maybe seven times, second round. You're gonna lose ammo soon, obviously, as you can see I'm on my last couple clips. After that, um, if you wanna play a, a seriously, a serious and good way to play, once you run out of ammo, as you will see I am doing in a sec, I don't know why I tried running around. Um, alright, um, on my last clip, then you want to open this door up here. Um, wherever the random box is, you always want to get it first. Always get the random box whenever you, after you, actually, after you get the MP40. That's in the next room I'm going to open. You want to get that. Instant kills are as nice. I got that at the end of the round. Not really helpful. You want to open the next door. When you have, whenever you have enough points, you go open up this door. Then go down the stairs to the right. You will see the MP40. Grab that. The MP40 is really good for the early rounds for the fact that you can rack up. It's not extremely strong. It's got a decent amount of ammo for early rounds. And um, if if you line if you line up the zombies right, you can maximize points for your ammo. That's another thing. What you always want to line up the zombies as much as possible because bullets go through a lot of them a lot of the time. As you can see, I'm trying to like single shot so I can knife them at the end as much as possible. I'm still doing that. You don't you don't want to do that after like round like five, maybe six, after like dog rounds, I'd say, because that's when they start to get a lot more powerful and you can't really tell how many bullets they're gonna take. Um. Yeah. I still try and knife food times. Um, you don't want to stay in there too long by yourself because it start it can start to get hectic. Um, you can stay in here with two people. It's although it's kind of risky because once one person's covering these stairs, the uh, um, behind you that window I was just barricading, you have to be careful of that. And one person can cover the downstairs by himself. Um, after the MP40 room, you want to. After you get enough points, immediately go to the dressing room and don't even stay there. Just immediately go to the stage. Um, when you get to the stage, you can either buy the M16 or if you if you have passed by the um, random gun box, you can grab a gun in that. As I actually got lucky, it was on the stage for me this time. You'll see what you'll see what gun I get. It's pretty pretty damn lucky. I wasn't expecting it like this. It turned out to be a pretty good video because. Whenever you get a wonder weapon, aka the like monkey bombs, ray gun, or thunder gun, because they're like the really good ones, really rare. Monkey bombs, yeah, those are those are very useful and when you get hoarded. Um, whenever you get a wonder weapon early, it just if you're pretty good at zombies overall too, you can it just spells out like you know you're gonna have a good you're gonna have a good overall game for zombies. As you can see, I'm kind of just like trying to maximize my points still. I think it's one, maybe two more rounds. Two times. Alright, yeah, I got like 4,000 points right now. 
Yeah. And oh yeah, by the way, if you ever see a nuke of uh, whenever you see a nuke drop, never grab it of, uh, if there's like still a lot of zombies left. Always you always want to get it whenever there's like only a few left because you get 400 points for using it and it can destroy almost all the zombies on the map. And and that can kind of waste your points. So it, it, the best way to get it is when like if the if the and if the round ends and like the round thing at the bottom left turns white and there's no zombies left, it gives you 400 points for like killing nothing, so that's pretty nice that's if, it's, if it's there. I think my friend one time, he said he got two nukes and a two times, so we got 1600 points, because there's 800 for each bomb, because the two times affects how much you get, and it was 16, 1600 overall, so that was, that was, that's pretty nice. Um, yep, this is Star Grounds. You can always tell by the music and uh, the voice and the fog. I'd say after the dog round, you could you should go after, you should go into the dressing room end stage. After I get the after I get the random box, as you will see soon, I'm gonna skip ahead because this otherwise this video would be like an hour and ten minutes long because that's how I, how much I lasted. I can't, I cannot say, I can't, I can't tell how many, how many people, like how many, how can those people that last, like 40 rounds last that long? Yeah, reload before you get the max ammo, obviously. Yeah, how can like, the leaderboards, like 40s, 50s, like maybe even 80s, like, that takes hours. It takes an hour to get to 20 something, like, that's, that's just insane, I, I, I could not play that for that long. Um, so yeah. Um, I think I stay in here until, I always stay in here until I start to get overrun, just to make sure I can get the zombie before I have to be forced to keep going after the stage. So once you get the max ammo, you will, by the way, you want to keep your pistol, the M1911, I believe. You want to keep it because it's worth the points, you know? I mean, it's weak, It's 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 got plenty of ammo to get plenty of points left. If you, I mean, you always want to keep that until you've got no ammo for it left and you want to trade something for it, so... If you're not in any danger, you should start using that. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I got the stage here, the stage box. Right after I get it, I'll skip ahead. I don't want to make this video too long. When I, when I go into upload video, it says, like, my account's been activated to... So I can allow, so I can upload longer videos, longer than 15 minutes. I don't know what that means. Obviously, I can, but I don't know why. I mean, it's nice, but I don't want to make videos too long because people might not watch it, you know. Especially on zombies, you know. Who would want to watch like an hour-long zombie? Um, as you can see, I got an instico right there. I obviously want to knife as much as possible. Decapitation. Um. Yep. And as you can see, watch, watch this, watch this. All right, I open the box. I open the box. Look what I get. First try, the ray gun. I was like, hell's yeah. That that just spelled out. This is gonna be a good game for me. All right, you always want to save that ray gun ammo as much as possible because once you're out, that's when you want to pack punch it so you get more ammo and obviously upgrade it because it's like one of the most important weapons other than the thunder gun. That's for like emergencies though. Um, in a sec I will open up a power, and once you do that, immediately, like, in initiate the link. I forgot to do that. Actually, no, I didn't. Yep, initiate the link, because it's immediately ready to teleport if you get the time. Then, immediately get Juggernaut, because if you don't get Juggernaut early enough, it can be pretty bad. Once, once you do that, once you get the Juggernaut, I got, I got the max ammo look, for almost no reason right there. Once you get the Juggernaut, you want to um, start doing laps. That's a, that's probably the best way. Never camp because it's too risky, especially by yourself. You will lose earlier than expected. Um, initiate the pad, link the pad. Once you get up there, now the quick revive. What it, unless you don't know, uh, when you do it in solo. 
what it does is it's only 500 points in solo. It um what um if you get downed and you don't have any pistols or no ray no, no like ray gun or ballistic knife, it gives you the Mustang and Sally, which is the M1911 backup punched, which is a dual wield and it shoots grenades, so that's pretty nice. So you actually get downed, you don't lose immediately, and then it automatically revives you. So, and, but then again, you lose all your perks, so you have to buy it again. Now the thing is, with that, with the quick revive, you get you only get three lot, technically three. You can only buy it three times in one game in solo. It's infinite in um, multiplayer, but that's like literally you quickly revive them, not not like to get down and revive yourself type of thing. Yeah, when you want to start doing laps around the doors that you've opened. Um, I'll skip ahead. Oh, ammo. All right. Um, I can, as you can see, I skipped from like round not eight or nine to twenty-five. Now I make it to twenty-six. So this is the last like five minutes, I believe. Now this is like one of the like three third time I've gone up here. I got the RPK was running low on ammo, so. That's what. That's always when you want to upgrade a weapon that's not on the walls that you can buy ammo for. I upgraded both because they were kind of low on ammo both, so I figured why not. Now the ar now the light machine guns are essential in zombies for the fact that you get a lot of ammo. The the HK is the one that has the most. It has like 800 bullets if you pack a punch it. It's ridiculously awesome. Yeah, and you you always want to like wait a few seconds to teleport at the beginning of the round to let the zombies gather up so you can lob zombies, lob those things down there. Now what that is, I just picked up right here. It's, it's called a real film. Um, my friend showed me this where when when next time you go back up to the pack a punch room and you see that projector, you can put you can put the film on that and it'll pro start pro after you go back down. It'll start projecting like this like slideshow of like quote unquote real pictures of like zombies or just random things and it's pretty weird but it's kinda fun just to do I don't know why I just stopped right there may I was itching or something so yeah I got the three essential perks the speed cola, juggernaut and revive I got downed once before I can two for two reasons one I remember and two I can tell for the fact that juggernaut wasn't the first I got this time it's the third as you can tell what order in they're they're in, in the top bottom left. The quick revival I got first, I guess. I that the best way to do this on solo is just keep doing the laps around and stop at stop at certain points where you think it's safe enough to start shooting zombies and when they're lined up. I got a, I got forty nine thousand points right here as you can see, like it's really good. I started um once you once you start in, to get into certain rounds, like the higher rounds, like maybe like late late tens and twenties and after you want to start getting headshots to some extent for the fact that it kills them faster it's not always that like if you shoot one bullet on the head it's not going to kill them immediately you gotta shoot them a few times in the head that's when it becomes essential in the later rounds for the fact that um, you want to conserve as, as much ammo as possible because c ammo becomes more and more scarce because there's more zombies and you can't get the stuff as better or quickly um, so yeah, um, headshots are essential. I, I didn't really pay attention to that too much this game, I don't know why. I almost got stuck there. I think it's cool that whenever you shoot a, one of the Nova crawlers right there, Nova gas crawlers, when, whenever you knife them, or shoot them with a, um, ray gun, or a thunder gun actually. Yeah, or, um, yeah, they actually don't explode, they just die. So that's pretty good. If you got a ray gun or something, you can shoot quickly shoot them with that. So they don't make sure they don't explode on you. Once, as you can see, that huge knife I got, that's the Bowie knife. It's right next to the Juggernaut. It costs 3,000. And obviously, I had enough, so I figured why not. Um, never risk your life. The Bowie knife is a lot bigger and stronger. It does replace the knife you hold in Ballistic Knife. So you hold the, the launcher, the launcher chamber thing, and the, bullet, the Bowie knife. So that's like really good um by the way that secret achievement one of the secrets one of the secret achievements you can get is upgrade the ballistic knife up to it's called the Krauss's refibrillator and what a refibrillator is actually it's something in real life where you well what it does in zombies is is when you shoot 
the ballistic knife at an enemy from a from an al from a downed ally from a distance, it revives them instantly. So that's that's an achievement, and overall, it's pretty good. Me and my friends, we made it this one time. Like I got the, I actually tried the achievement and I got it, and I kept. As you can see, I got downed for the second time right here. This once you get down like the first or second time, it it becomes extremely difficult. I only got like a minute left now, maybe less. Yeah, like 30 seconds, a little 40 seconds maybe. Yeah, because I didn't see these zombies down here, and I tried shooting them. And I, I tried, like, look, I want to understand this. Look, I'm gonna, it's he hit me one time. Hold on, let me show you this. Now, see, look, he hit, see one hit marker. Now, I understand that the blast from now any any type of blast you shoot can hurt you, but it doesn't hurt you that much. It only hurts you a tiny bit. Like, I've used the Mustang and Sally, and I was that close, and I shot, like, five times, and I barely got damaged from myself. <laughs> so, I don't know why it did that. It's really retarded, but, you know, whatever. I last, I was satisfied with that game. I lasted 26 rounds, got so many points, so many kills.